All right, time to check some comments out, I think. So let's have a little peek here. So, oh, another video idea. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've also got this comment here saying, okay, a new subscriber. That's always good. Um, but I have bad news. Planet 9 is dead because the dwarf planet proved it to be fake. Wait, what? Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2. So hopefully you, I don't know, enjoyed that little intro I made there. To be honest, I don't think it was that good, but I thought I'd pull it in anyway. Just like, like try something new, you know. But today, got some kind of like sad news and so I actually recently received a comment as you just saw in that clip back there that Planet 9 may not exist. So I, as soon as I saw this, I looked into it. Well, I, not as soon as I saw it, but a few hours after I saw it, I, um, I looked into it and I found out, uh, no, that the commenter was actually correct. Um, so it wasn't like anything fake or anything. Well, I, sh I, I did believe him from the start, but just in case, you know, you got to like think. But anyways, so apparently, according to the, like what I found, there's a they've discovered like some new dwarf planet, which is like really, really far out, like probably past the orbit of like Iris and all of these dwarf planets here. And apparently, so let's just get a random um, asteroid or something, I don't know, or just a random small moon, so something like that maybe. So apparently they found some new like dwarf planet or asteroid. Apparently it's 250 kilometers in diameter so that's about yeah 125 in radius so really really far away and apparently this proves that planet 9 may not actually exist so it'll probably be 150 kilometers like that so very very small and apparently it's called i actually have an extra source here so apparently it is called um let's have a look so it's kind of it's called 2013 so apparently we found it in 2013 but it's called s so s y 99 i believe wait um capital letters s y 99 well this is what i'm reading here so i don't know i don't really know much about this since i only found out about it a few hours ago but yes yeah, so apparently it's um this little object here um and apparently they believe that this little planet apparently it takes around i don't know 15 to twenty thousand years to go around the sun and apparently this is proving that poor old little planet nine out here doesn't exist so this awesome looking gas giant isn't real well it's only my custom one but this blue like well, not gas giant, more like an ice giant. Apparently, this um, doesn't exist. So I was like, I'm kind of like upset almost. Like, so I was, like, I was always like hyped that we'd eventually find like another planet. Like, it's always cool to find like a new planet. But yeah, so it's very, very, very peculiar here. So this probably won't be a long video, by the way, just so you know. But from what I know, or from what I believe, apparently, because this, because this, or like this object exists. Apparently, if Planet Nine existed, this wouldn't exist. So if we just um, was it play the simulation here? I've looked into a few other videos about this. So, as you can see, all of these orbits are like wobbling. They're shaking. They're not like they're not fully like stable. They're always changing. It's not really the um, gas giants. The gas giants are pretty much the same, obviously apart from Planet Nine out here. But all of these are outer objects like Orcus, Pluto, even Pluto as well. And then like Eris here. These orbits are all currently changing. But apparently, if Planet Nine existed, because it obviously has quite a lot of mass, this object here. By the way, this isn't its exact orbit. I don't know its orbit. I'm not gonna like input all that in, but yeah, apparently this this object because it's because it's in the solar system, it's probably some like crazy orbit. It's probably like something like this, maybe. I don't know for sure. Like maybe like that because this exists. Planet Nine can't exist because if Planet Nine did exist, this object probably would have been ejected out the solar system like that. Like it would have been thrown out a long, long time ago. So we wouldn't have found it. So what I'm thinking is. That, that's that like i think it's, it's over for poor old planet nine now why are the inner planet solar systems messing up like this it's very very peculiar why they're doing that but no idea why yeah but so it's kind of sad honestly like so yeah so poor planet nine here kind of may have to press the delete button since it doesn't exist we all see no sedna exists so this is probably one of our or probably still one of the furthest planets out there or not planets dwarf planets so it's quite a lot a lot bigger than that little thing over there this 2013 object but yeah so um that's pretty much it for the video like they there's always a um a what if scenario apparently like this isn't 100 percent confirmed remember and you're watching my video you don't know like i if i'm accurate or not but f yeah from what i'm reading here um apparently it may prove that planet nine does not exist not that it doesn't exist so there's always hope like fingers crossed it they've made an error or something but from right um for what we are reading now this is what our solar system looks like there is no planet nine so my poor old custom planet nine here may not make it into my size comparison later this year if they find out it doesn't exist 
then I will not be adding it to my size comparison. So if you don't know, I'm working on it for my two, see, look, 2017 scale tour like tests and stuff. Like, I'm working on it here. Like got some cool stuff hidden there. So if you saw those images there, a little teaser if you can work out what they are. But I doubt you can. <laughs> but anyways, so I think that will do it for this video. So it's not really much to say, but. Going back to that thing about um, the orbits wobbling, if we removed our gas giants, let's just say like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, so delete them. Now look, the orbits aren't wobbling around, so it is the gas giants that are affecting it. So without any gas giants, including Planet 9, these orbits would be fine. And obviously because that um, 2013 object, because, it's, because it has an orbit from like where its location is, um, that proves that its orbit isn't being wobbled around too much in the outer areas of the solar system. So, Planet 9 theoretically couldn't or doesn't exist. So, yeah, that's that. So, um, hopefully you um, all understood me here because I'm not really the best explaining all of these, like, new theories and stuff. I don't really do theories. I usually just play this game to have fun. But I do like some serious stuff. I'm not really the best to explain it all the time. But, yeah, tell me how well I did. Like, did, did I get the point across? Like, you get it? Like, or is it just me in my head thinking I'm going crazy here? But, yeah, that is that for this video. So, quite a short video. Not really anything too extreme. But, yeah, I just wanted to uh, put that video out there just to let you guys know. Because I did, as soon as I saw the comment, I did really want to know about it. Because, um, or I did really want to look into it. Because it is very interesting, obviously, finding about... Or, looking into planet nine because i've always been really interested in planet nine but just any more i'm looking on the page here so oh there's also something on called orbit diffusion so this is basically what we've done here so orbit diffusion is like the, the wobbling orbits as you can see i don't know why it's doing it in the inner solar system right now but if you can see that mercury and venus's orbits are all like wobbling around that is orbit diffusion but as you can see after i remove the gas giants there is no more orbit diffusion so i'm assuming that this um planet they found or not planet dwarf planet they found so um this object here which i added in this doesn't have any or much orbit diffusion so that means that planet nine doesn't exist because it's this orbit isn't changing much like it's not really being altered by anything so poor old planet nine doesn't exist so if you want to find out what orbit diffusion is apparently it's explains the random movement of a substance from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration such as the way perfume drifts across the room so a related form of diffusion can cause orbits of minor planets so basically dwarf planets and stuff so it makes their orbit change like i previously mentioned so that's pretty crazy so um pretty cool stuff there i kind of like cut out there so sorry about that guys but yeah that's not good so planet nine may not exist in and what is that with the simulation i swear like the orbits have changed like it's meant to look like this where is it slowly it back in so if we look right here, um, where is it? Um, so it's just non The orbits may look like this. I don't know what happened there, but yeah. So poor planet nine here may not exist. So we have to remove it, sadly. So this is currently what our solar system pretty much is right now. So yeah, that poor planet doesn't exist, which is kind of upsetting, honestly. I was always hyped for it. But anyways, enough of me rambling on now. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this quite short video, but I did want to get the point out there, like I said. So um. Yeah, make sure if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button because we are going like booming in the subscribers mount right now. I can't thank you guys enough. It is awesome. But yeah, so many thanks to everyone who subscribed recently, and also many thanks to the guy who um, said I subbed and stuff. So yeah, you're welcome. Hopefully you enjoy. But yeah, there we go. So um, that's the thing. I think I've said everything I need to say. So if there's anything I said wrong or you have any like points you want to make or just discuss theories or something like that, just leave a comment down below and I'll check it out and reply. So. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. But anyways, I think that's all that. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.